When I was growing up, my parents were constantly cooking, and I took it for granted. I never realized how amazing the food memories that my parents created for me was. Once I was away, I realized how hard it is to find that quality, authentic Vietnamese food. This is a really crucial ingredient. It's a lot like making music. Like making a song, you have your bass track, you have your drum track, and it's the same thing with making a broth. That's why I'm really obsessed with cooking now, just to recreate those memories that I had in childhood. I think this is our winner right here. So the first course is called Pate Sho. It's like a Vietnamese meat patty. It has pork, mushrooms, and onions in it. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> this is called banana flour. And most Vietnamese restaurants in New York do not carry this. So the next course is for very adventurous eaters. It's a Vietnamese delicacy. It's called hot vit long. Basically, inside this is a fertilized duck egg. Lightly tap it. You basically have to take a shot of it, like so. And I think all good food, if you eat something really amazing, it will remind you of something that you had in the past. So this is the main course. It's called Bung Bo Hue. For a Vietnamese person, it will, a good bowl of Bung Bo Hue would send them back to their mom's kitchen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our dessert course is finally upon us. What we're gonna have is a taro-based creme brulee. Whoever wants coffee, we have uh, Vietnamese weasel coffee. In Vietnam, there's like a forest where it grows coffee beans, and weasels would eat the coffee bean whole, and the coffee bean would be intact as it goes through the entire digestive system, and it would be, you know, it's making it more tastier. So I actually brought back, smuggled back, some weasel coffee. I'm so proud of school. Thank <laughs> you.